this video is about bilateral coordination, so using both sides of our bodies together, and then also differentiating our right and left sides of our body. This activity involves some cut out hands and feet. You can trace them yourself. I trace these myself. You can also use a printout. I'll try to include a printout example in the video description. I put L's and R's on these as an example of a cue that you can use to show left versus right. I also have them in a column where the left is on the left side, right is on the right. So this is sort of my easiest setting of this one step at a time. So one piece. So I see my right hand. That's the only thing I do. Then I switch to left, left and right. Then I go to left, Ooh, left, left, right, right. So one direction each time I have them on different sides. The left and right can be a little tricky to do if the student is still learning kind of what the difference is, being able to see the size and identify which. So you can use a bracelet to show. So if they need an idea, oh, the bracelet's on my right side, yes. That can be a cue that we can use. This will be especially handy if we make this harder by putting it all in a straight line. So that way they have to look at the left or the right with the L or R and then make that distinction. They can also visually see it by kind of where the thumb points and toe points, but that's more subtle. So practicing it that way is the same, just each time you have to think harder about, yes, right, then left, then right, then left, 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 right. Knowing the right and left is a good skill for direction following, spatial awareness, and some of the underlying concepts that we also use in math, setting up math problems. And it's so one way to work at it. To make this even harder, we can pair them together now. I've seen it paired up to three. Two should be a fairly good spot to start though. So give it some space a little bit. It'll take a lot of extra thinking for these. Also, if you notice they're slipping around a lot, you can take them to the ground for some extra stability. So, I'm going to pair them together two steps at a time. Left, right, left, right, and then I'm going to have a really tricky two are in the same, so left, left, and then a right, right. So it gets lots of thinking in there, lots of coordination. So we build up as we go, take it as easy as you need it, or as hard as you need it for a good challenge. Thanks for watching.